Understanding the Bible 31. Real quick, we're going to talk about something that uh, has been brought to my attention. It's been brought to my attention that you obey the Ten Commandments in order to be received by God to go to heaven. Obey the Ten Commandments. Now, let's discuss something here. Many don't know the things that the Bible is speaking about, the Ten Commandments, the law, okay, the law. Did you know, did you know that the strength of sin is the law? Take a look. Oh, I spelled that wrong, didn't I? Sorry about that. First Corinthians 15, verse 56. You can see it for yourself. The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. Father, we want to thank you today that we have another opportunity to learn some more knowledge about your son that you've given us the greatest blessing that we may come to him that we may give ourselves to him that he then can fill us and we can be a part of the greatest creation the firstborn which is him Christ and we can be a part of you all in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. There it is. The sting of death is sin and the strength of sin is the law, the Ten Commandments. Now, uh, if we want to remain in the Old Testament under the Old Covenant of the Jews only, you must be Jewish first, second, the Father has sent the Messiah that was talked about in the Old Covenant. They, he sent him. They did not receive and accept him. Therefore, they're still being counted to their own righteousness, which you think you are going to acquire by being without sin. Well, the Bible is clear. If you so far as think sin, think sin. You have committed sin in the Father's view. You cannot think that you're going to be without sin in any man's view, including your own. If you do think that you have done this and got to this level, you have sinned previously in your life. Your sin has tainted you. It has made you unequal with the firstborn of the Father. Yeshua. Okay, you are unequal with Yeshua. He is the only one that has pleased the Father in completing his work. Never ever thinking or operating outside of the Father's will at all, which is what sin is. You think sin is your action. Sin actually is a symptom of you. The reason why you have sin is because you were born from the sperm of a man. The sperm of a man carries the nature of sin all the way from the first one who did sin. The first human being. That is the difference between Yeshua, Jesus, and every other man. Mary was not did not conceive Yeshua by the sperm of a man. It was by the speaking and overshadowing of the Father's Spirit over her womb. No man had been in her. Okay? So therefore, Jesus Yeshua is the firstborn of the Father before he even came into the womb of Mary. He's the only son. There is no other son. Uh, the other sons of God come from you accepting the firstborn that has pleased the Father, that he could be in you. 
Okay, but let's take a look at some more information about the law. Believe me, if any no, if anyone was going to fulfill all of the law, they would have done it way before uh, Yeshua Jesus went to the cross. Any of those Jews, but no one did. No one, because you have to do it in thought and in deed. You have to fulfill it all from birth until you shouldn't die. If, in fact, you were able to do that. But all of us have. All right. Wherefore, the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ. That's what the Ten Commandments are for. They're to bring us back to Christ. The word Christ itself means that it's a savior. He's a he's a he's a savior. He's a he's a messiah. He's one who saves. He's come to save all. I don't want to hear about the ethnicities, about the race, about the lineage, the DNA. I don't want to really even discuss all of that because right here we see that he came for all. The law is made to bring you back to the Savior, Christ. Okay? That is what it is for. We see um, here that Jesus is telling the Jews before he sends Paul, who is a Jew from the tribe of Benjamin, Hebrew of the Hebrews. No one could say he sinned, but he did sin in the father's eyes. OK, in his heart, he was sinning. So. Um, let's take a look and see. What. The Lord Yeshua, Jesus, is saying to us about this all men should be saved. And um, it will help us understand that this this is uh, not an ethnic thing this is not a tribe of Israel thing this is a total human thing well you got John 3:16 You've got um, even here, uh, the Gentiles should be saved. We've got the great Acts 26 verses 13 through 18, which is one of my, uh, which is actually the core verse for uh, those that would come to accept what Christ has done. And um, it's going to tell you this is the expounded uh, conversation with Paul on the road to Damascus that we see in Acts 9. He then expounds on that here in Acts 26, something you probably don't know about because uh, the churches don't teach this. Uh, but he talks about being uh, knocked to the earth, seeing a light above the sun. Um, he, he has a conversation here. Jesus is making himself known. Jesus then tells him the purpose. He says, but arise and stand upon thy, thy feet, for I have appeared unto thee for this purpose. To make thee a minister and a witness of both these things which thou hast seen and of those things in which I will appear unto thee, delivering thee from the people, which are the Jews. And from the Gentiles, which are non-Jews, which is where he's going. You start the next book is, uh, after Acts is Romans and so on and so on. And he says, and to whom now I send thee, he's going, uh, the purpose is, is that you're going to open their eyes and turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among them, which are sanctified by faith. That is in me. Okay, there you go. Now, listen, if you're going to take the Old Testament 
and you're going to say, that's it, I'm going to stand on that, you got to take it all. You got to take it all because Messiah has come. He has come. Jesus is noted in the Roman history. He's noted in Roman history. He's noted more times in the Quran, as this saw, in the Quran than Muhammad himself. Uh, there's a video on my uh, Facebook, uh, Ron Saxton. You can check that video out. There's a testimony from the gentleman. I've also posted all of the all of the uh, scriptures from the Quran concerning Jesus. Take a look. Ask for the understanding to be opened up here. So anyway, <clears throat> the law. Um, no one is justified. No one will be justified by their own works. No one. You will only be justified by the work of Yeshua, Jesus the Christ. Bottom line. You need to accept his sacrifice of total perfection based on the Father in everything. He did it all. Everything. I don't care about the sacrificial laws, the dietary laws, the everything. He did everything. He operated by way of the Father's will only. He did say that in the Bible. Take a look at it. Look it up. You see, you see me looking things up here. You do it. You study it out. You will see. I want you to come and see. It's time for you to come and see. You know you're thinking things. You know you're desiring things that's not in, an, in, in alignment with his will. You know this. You know you need to come on back. You know you need to stop dealing with and uh, the, the divisions among ethnicity and race and things of that nature. You even supposed to, you're supposed to be loving your enemy. You're not even supposed to be thinking yourself greater than anyone else. You know this. This is what the scripture says. Look it up. If you don't know how, if you want those scriptures, contact me. But I want to thank you for taking time out. This is some strong, um, strong encouragement here I'm giving you. It's very strong. I hope you're strong enough to bear it. And um, contact me. Join us at uh, Understanding the True Jesus Christ. The True Jesus Christ. Understanding the True Jesus Christ at Facebook. Ron Saxon on Facebook. And this is Understanding the Bible right here on YouTube. Subscribe. Send a comment. Send an email. It would be great to speak with you. I'm um, going to be coming back to you soon. Got some questions, so I'll be addressing those in the future videos. I want to thank you again, and hopefully we will see you the next time.